Well, there's three aspects to the traditional plan. The uh, first is that the traditional position of the church that we believe is biblically based and, and solidly rooted in scripture is maintained. That's essential. Uh, the second is that there is enhanced accountability measures um, that will um, put people in a position where they have to decide, are we going to live by the discipline or not? And we feel like that's essential because if uh, the, the crisis that we're in right now is not caused by the fact that we have disagreement over this issue, it's caused by the fact that some parts of our church have chosen to live contrary to the discipline, contrary to the covenant that we have agreed upon through our um, processes at General Conference. Um, and so because of that, uh, there needs to be an, a, a recognition of that fact and people need to decide, are we going to live by the discipline or not? And if we're not going to live by the discipline, then we really shouldn't still be part of the same church. And then thirdly, to provide a gracious way for those who cannot live with the discipline to exit from the church with our blessing, um, with the possibility of succeeding in ministry. The traditional plan is the only one of the three plans that has that gracious exit in it, and we feel like that's an essential fe feature as well. I believe that the traditional plan was at a disadvantage. Um, the One Church plan and the Connectional Conference plan had the opportunity to be fully vetted and developed and um, looked at in terms of legalities and constitutionality and the workings of them and, and over a long period of time. And these things are so complicated that you can't just you know, pick it up, read it, and, and say yes or no. It's something that you have to think about for a long time. And um, we did not have that opportunity for the traditional plan. And those of us on the commission who are evangelical and traditional in our viewpoint were willing to help work on the plans that we disagreed with for the sake of the good of the church. And we feel somewhat cheated that, that we did not get that same uh, ability to have others working on our plan um, and enabling us to have that plan fully developed and vetted. And I think it's not a surprise then that the Judicial Council found more things that they objected to about the traditional plan because it hadn't gone through the same kind of evaluation and, and rigorous um, uh, analysis 